This season on Top Chef. Let's go, Boston! Top Chef brings out another side of you. <laughs> kind of like a wake up call. This is a sudden death quick fire. You'll face immediate elimination. Oh, here we go again. Can't you see I'm struggling here? This is seasoned so perfectly well. It's just right there. This guy is a beast, man. It is time for Restaurant Wars. No, I promised you I have a reservation here. Yeah, we hear that all the time. After 11 seasons, we're doing something we've never done before. I think it's been a while since I had my shop. Jesus Christ! I am tired. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. You'll create a traditional Thanksgiving meal. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. I'm totally surprised by this blueberry stuffing, and I've somehow managed to eat half of the bowl. <laughs> As a baseball fan, to serve our guests on the field at Fenway Park, it's ridiculous. Please welcome New England Patriots, Rob Gronkowski. My man. Oh, I'm going to be cooking for the biggest names in the country every single day. Andy Cohen. Sweetie. After George Went. Oh! Stop with that. Unfortunately, you gotta nail something in that dish. Just because you have a gun in your bin doesn't mean you have to shoot it. It's that point of the competition where it's starting to get tiring. I can't, like, do the best I can when I just want to be home with my kids. A lot of people are trying to So many people are so tired of you talking. Just shut your mouth. Stop. I'll cook you under the table. Go yourself. I have no idea what this even is. You can play hockey with this thing. This is Mrs. Merrill. Those judges don't mess around. I'm not looking forward to going in there. It's those details that make a dish. Trust me, we notice it all. Uh-oh, May's got the nitrogen. You have to find your own signature, your own way to really make a mark on the culinary world.